Matt Cheese, where is it? Oh, oh, Matt Cheese, why is it gone? Just snip it out, let's find it. Get something better and scurry along. Go get me some of that new cheese. Go get something better. Play about. Oh, move Matt Cheese, where is it? Who oh, move Matt Cheese, why is it gone? Once long ago, in a land far away, there were four little characters that lived in a maze. Two were mice named Sniff and Scurry. And two were little people the size of mice. Their names were Hem and Ha. As different as the mice and little people were, they shared one thing in common. Each morning, they put on their running shoes and raced into the maze to look for their favorite cheese. Cheese being whatever was most important to them, what nourished them and made them happy. For Sniff and Scurry, cheese was just cheese. But for Hem and Ha, cheese was more than just having something to eat. Finding it was a way of getting what they thought they needed. To them, cheese represented having security or good health or material things, or whatever they believed would make them happy. For Ha, cheese meant living in a beautiful cottage with a loving family on Cheddar Lane. To him, cheese meant being a big cheese, owning a mansion atop Camembert Hill. Sniff and Scurry had good instincts. Sniff would smell out the general direction of the cheese, and Scurry would race ahead. But Ham and Ha had complex brains with beliefs and emotions that made finding their way in the maze more complicated and challenging. Rather than trusting their instincts, they relied on guidebooks and maps to help find their way in the maze. In their own way, all four characters discovered what they were looking for. Eventually, each one arrived at Cheese Station C and discovered their own special cheese. Sniff and Scurry woke early every day and ran the same route through the maze to Cheese Station C. However, Hem and Ha woke later each day and strolled slowly over to Cheese Station C. After all, they knew where the cheese was and how to get there, and they assumed it would always be there. This is fabulous. I'm so happy. There's enough cheese here to last us forever. <sighs> Hem and Haw put away their running shoes, thinking they wouldn't need them anymore. They felt very secure in their familiar surroundings. Ha even decorated the walls with sayings. Having cheese makes you happy. Hem and Haw became very comfortable in Cheese Station C. They were not paying attention to what was happening around them. Meanwhile, Sniff and Scurry inspected the area each morning. They noticed the changes that were taking place. They kept their running shoes around their necks so they could get to them quickly whenever they needed them again. One morning, Sniff and Scurry arrived at Cheese Station C and discovered there was no cheese. They were not caught by surprise, since they noticed the supply of cheese had been getting older and smaller. The mice did not overanalyze or complicate things. The situation had changed, so Sniff and Scurry changed. They were soon off in search of new cheese. Later that day, Hem and Haw arrive and are startled at the sight of an empty Cheese Station C. What? No cheese? Who moved my cheese? It's not fair! What'll happen if the cheese isn't here tomorrow? All my plans are based on the cheese being here. Hem's and Haw's behavior was not very attractive and kept them from succeeding, but it was understandable. Finding cheese wasn't easy, and it meant a great deal more to them than just having enough of it to eat every day. While Sniff and Scurry had changed, Hem and Ha continued to, well, Hem and Ha. Hem? Where are Sniff and Scurry? Do you think they know something we don't? Nah, they're just simple mice. We're little people. We're more complex and smarter. We're entitled to our cheese. We don't seem to be acting smarter at the moment. Sniff and Scurry are probably in the maze looking for new cheese. Maybe we should simply get going and look for some new cheese, too. 
No, no, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want things to be just the way they were. Meanwhile, Snip and Scurry moved further into the maze. They didn't think of anything else but finding new cheese. After looking in parts of the maze where they had never been before, Snip and Scurry found the biggest store of cheese they had ever seen. Meanwhile, Hem and Ha were still trying to figure out what was happening. Then Ha began to imagine himself out in the maze, finding fresh new cheese. Before long, he could almost taste it. Come on, Hem, let's go. We've got to change and enjoy something better. No way. It might be dangerous out there in the maze. I like it here. I'm comfortable. You'll see. Someday things will be just the way they were. Like him, Ha focused on what he was losing. His vision of finding new cheese and gaining something better faded. So every day, him and Ha went from their homes to Cheeseless Station C and returned home again with empty bellies, full of nothing but stress. They tried to deny the change that had happened, but found it more and more difficult. Their homes were not the nurturing places they once were. You know, if we just try harder, maybe we'll discover the cheese is still here. So him and Ha worked longer hours. But still, they did not find their cheese. Ha was beginning to realize how hard they were working without success. Then Ha lived up to his name. <laughs> Look at us! <laughs> what are you laughing at? They moved our cheese and you think this is funny? <laughs> oh, Ham, we keep doing the same things over and over again, and we wonder why things don't get better. Uh, now that's funny! <laughs> who moved my cheese? Who moved my cheese? Ham, it's time for us to find something better. You're not really going out into the maze again, are you? Why don't we just wait here until they put the cheese back? They're never going to put the cheese back. That was yesterday's cheese. It's time for us to find some new cheese. Now, where did we put our running shoes? What if there's no cheese out there? Or what if you can't find it? Or well, I don't know, Hem. But imagine how much we would enjoy some new cheese. No. No, I don't want to go into the maze. Well, I don't either. But let's face it. If we don't change, we could become extinct. Extinct? Who moved my cheese? Who moved my cheese? Who moved my cheese? Who... Then Ha wrote on the wall what he had been thinking about for some time. What would you do if you weren't afraid? It's maze time. Time for new cheese. Then Ha jogged into the unknown. He soon realized the unexpected can happen. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. Ha picked himself up and got back on course. Being back in the maze isn't nearly as bad as I feared. How did I get into that situation at Cheese Station C? I should have followed my instincts and changed a lot sooner. If I'd been watching what was happening... Mm, smell the cheese often so you know when it's getting old. Why do I feel so good? I don't have any cheese, and I don't know where it is. When you stop being afraid, you feel good. I feel so good. So very good. I'm not afraid anymore. The more clearly Ha imagined himself finding new cheese and enjoying it, the more real it became. In his mind, and his heart, and the more it made good sense to him. Imagine
imagining myself enjoying my new cheese even before I find it leads me to it. Finally, Ha arrived at large cheese station E, but he found it was practically empty. No matter how hard I try, oh, I guess I'm just too late. <laughs> if, if only I had changed sooner, I'd have found a lot of new cheese here. Ha did find several delicious morsels of cheese. It wasn't much, but it was enough to keep him going. I've got to go back to him and let him know there's some new cheese out here. Ha followed his handwriting on the wall, back to Cheese Station C. Oh, him, you, you look terrible. Here, have a few bits of new cheese I found in the maze. No, I don't think I would like new cheese. I want my own cheese back. I want things to be the way they were. It's safer to search in the maze, Ham, than remain in a cheeseless situation. Pa now knew that his friend Ham's negative thoughts robbed him of his confidence. Ha remembered how good he felt when he was away from such thinking while searching for new cheese in the maze. Will he ever change? I guess Hen believes he can't or won't enjoy new cheese. Ha had changed his own beliefs. He knew that change wasn't always good or necessary. Ha used to believe that his cheese should never be moved and that sudden change wasn't right. Now he realized that most change didn't happen all of a sudden and that it could lead to something better. He now knew it was good to go into the maze to find new cheese. When you change what you believe, you change what you do. Paul found bits of cheese here and there. He hoped that Hem might see the need for change and find his way through the maze by reading the handwriting on the wall and follow the markings Hall left for him. He kept hoping his good friend would change. Now Ha had let go of the past and was adapting to the present. He was pursuing his sensible vision, seeing himself finding new cheese. And then, one day it happened. Piled high everywhere was the largest and most delicious looking supply of new cheese Ha had ever imagined. Wow! New cheese! Is it real or just my imagination? Hey, it is real! New cheese was out here all the time, just waiting for somebody to find it. As Ha enjoyed his new cheese, he reflected on what he had learned from his journey through the maze. He wrote on the wall of Cheese Station N, Change happens. They keep moving the cheese. Anticipate change. Get ready for the cheese to move. Monitor change. Smell the cheese often so you know when it's getting old. Adapt to change quickly. The quicker you let go of old cheese, the sooner you can enjoy new cheese. Enjoy change. Savor the adventure and enjoy the taste of new cheese. Be ready to quickly change and enjoy it again. They keep moving the cheese. Change and win. Move with the cheese. I wonder if Ham will ever read the handwriting on the wall. Will he ever change and win? Han knew it would be easy for him to slip back to his old ways if he got too comfortable. So each day he inspected Cheese Station N to check the condition of his cheese. He went out into the maze and explored new areas. He knew it was smarter to be aware of what was going on around him rather than to isolate himself in his comfort zone. Then Ha heard a sound of movement out in the maze. Could it be him? Ha hoped, as he had many times before, that his friend was finally able to move to the new cheese and enjoy it. Or is it a new beginning? Who moved that cheese? Where is it? Who moved 
that cheese, why is it gone? So sniff it out, let's find it There's something better and scurry along Go get me some of that new cheese Go get something better Well, well Who moved that cheese, where is it? Who moved that cheese, why is it gone? Get Who moved that cheese, where is it? Who moved my cheese? Why has it gone?